Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm starting off with these two foam boards that I already cut in these mirrors. I didn't worry about my foam boards being even because they will be covered up. Now I'm just going to sit these to the side and start working on my other foam board. Okay, so my next foam board is a little bit chopped and screwed, but I had to do what it do with what I had, but watch me make it work. I'm using these wood blocks to help give me the height that I want in between my foam boards and it will also help hold this foam board together. I'm gluing extra wood blocks down to this side to keep my foam board together. Now I'm adding my mirror on top and placing it down as evenly as possible. I just love crafting with these mirror tiles because you can do so much with them and for this step I'm just placing the mirror tiles down just to see how much space I have to work with since these will be uneven. Y'all will see in a second how I slightly move the mirror tile to the left to be glued down. These are the uneven spaces I was telling y'all about, but I'm going to just continue gluing the mirror tiles down as I did before. So this is what I have so far. I have this uneven space. I also have this one and this one is just completely open, but stay tuned to see what I did to cover those up. So all I'm going to do is cover those spaces up with this pearl wrap and actually for this space I'm going to double layer it since you can see right through the pearl wrap. I'm cleaning these mirrors off and then I'm going to add the last mirror. Okay, so for this step at first, I glued two wood blocks together and then glued them to my mirror, but then I had to take it up and add an extra wood block, making it three so it could give me the height that I needed to glue my mirror tiles down. So this is why I added that third wood block so I can be able to glue my mirror tiles down and they can be leveled with my mirror. I'm cleaning my mirrors off again before I add more mirror tiles. I'm using my X-Acto knife to remove the excess glue. It's amazing what you can do with mirror tiles. I love how this turned out, but let me know what y'all think down in the comments. This wall mirror can also be used as table decor. Comment down below if you would use this for wall or table decor. For 
For this next project, I'm taking some of these craft sticks and also my black acrylic paint and my foam brush to cover one side. Now I'm laying out my design with these eight circle mirrors and one square mirror. Don't mind my mirrors looking a little beat up. That's because I do reuse my supplies. I'm making sure I glue down the painted side so the color side will not show through the front. I'm also putting a little bit of glue in between the mirrors as I go. For these diagonal spaces, I'm repeating the same steps, but I'm just only putting the glue at the top and the bottom of the craft sticks. These craft sticks did these mirrors some justice. It is very sturdy. Even though my mirror is very sturdy, I'm adding extra glue. I love crafting with these rectangular mirror tiles as well, which these are self-adhesive, but I'm gonna add a little bit of glue so they can stick better. All I'm doing is covering up all the spaces where the mirrors meet. For these diagonal spaces, I'm repeating the same exact steps as I did with the popsicle sticks. Well, that was quick, easy, and simple. I love how this turned out, but tell me what y'all think. Please like, comment, and share. And if you're curious to see what else I can create, hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you don't miss my next video.